Hey Ikea, how are you doing today? My name's Casey Jones and welcome to my kitchen. I've been working on this kitchen since middle of May or so. It's a personal project. Uh, it's the new Grim Grimslav Brown. You notice some of the cabinets are missing handles and that's why we're here today. Uh, the choice to do Ikea cabinets uh, was a difficult one for me because I wasn't really familiar with the brand and uh, I'll tell you what I was on a scale of one to five a four pleased with the engineering uh, and how how everything went together all the way up to the drawer fronts and the door fronts the deco strips and the sides not a problem but the door fronts and the drawer front, the door fronts and the drawer fronts have a problem, my friend, and it is this. This is one of the drawer fronts that I took off. I've drilled a ton of holes in it. You can see here, I don't have to drill that many holes to demonstrate the problem, but you'll see here that it's flaky, right? It doesn't take a whole lot to peel this off. Like, if I just take a piece of blue painter's tape and stick it on the surface, and then pull it off, the surface comes with it. Now, I initially thought that it was just me being a little harsh, that maybe my drilling the holes might uh, peel the layer away and, and it makes it a little bit vulnerable right at that point. Uh, but I've come to know uh, time over time on the inside of the drawers due to the scratching of the silverware and such such like that, it causes uh, little uh, scratches or something to occur, and from that point they begin to peel. Um, I've been round and around uh, with folks at, at, at various call centers and at the store here in Portland. Um, I've decided to take a little bit of investigation stuff on my own because I'm not getting uh, what I feel is satisfactory uh, response from IKEA as a whole of, as to what's wrong with this material. I can't, you can clearly see, I can't just change the whole kitchen. So let's talk a little bit about this uh, medium brown Grimslaw. Uh, there's another video, this, there's a series of them, of maybe two, possibly three videos that I'll include in this package. Um, but you can see that I've drilled, drilled several holes here in this, uh, and I can do a tape test on it for you here real quick. Um, make it down there really good, and pull it off, and notice the only bits and pieces we get off are the trimmings around the hole. I don't know if you can see that or not, but uh, anyway, uh, medium brown doesn't have the problem. The new Grimslaw brown, the stuff that came out in, in uh, uh, this year, 2018, does have a problem. Um, I would really appreciate someone at IKEA to address this situation with me, set me on a communication plan. Uh, so that I understand where IKEA is at with trying to resolve this quality issue. This cabinet, although it's beautiful, it will not last 25 years. And that was the engagement that I took uh, when I, when I uh, purchased your product. So please, I beg of you, uh, find some place in your process to figure out how you're gonna communicate with me. That's all I'm really asking. Talk to me, set some expectations. If I have to change the whole kitchen, I have to change the whole kitchen, I suppose, but obviously I've got custom cabinets and custom uh, other customizations that I would have to address, and that's a huge labor problem, and we're gonna to have to talk, because uh, I've been at this process here now for well over 90 days. Uh, from from the initial demo to, to the installation here today um, and I'm still not done clearly I got backsplash and handles and got grout on the floor that needs to be done a couple more tiles that need to be put in place but uh, it's very much a project I'm very proud of it I, and I really do like the cabinets and they seem durable until they are compromised um, and I just want to get to the bottom of what the quality issue is uh, it does appear as though the, there's two layers here, um, and over time, 
if you if I, if you let it sit and there's humidity changes in the air that it begins to flake and peel um, and there's there's like a, like it looks like maybe a UV coating and a polyurethane coating there's two different levels there it looks like but what it appears though is the polyurethane or the, the, the wood was stained and uh, it may it may not be rough enough or coarse enough texture for the other things to bond to it. I don't know. It's pure speculation. I have no idea. I just need somebody to talk to me about where we're going on this journey. Thank you very much.